Salutations all and welcome to Basic Public Speaking. I am your Professor Christy Thomas and this is the video check for week 7. The dates for week 7 are September the 26th through October the 2nd? Yes. Um, and this is also the week prior to Carter County's fall break. I want to preference this with I don't have anything to do for you this week because I extended the due date for your how to the second main speech and I already posted all that stuff It's in the module the how-to speech so next week it's Carter County's fall break I don't have you look over any lessons because you know because it is your fall break but I did extend the due date for the second main speech so that's not due until October the 9th yes the 9th by midnight so the module is up there you'll find a word document and a video discussing the description and the technical requirements for this speech and then there's also a home for you to upload your speech and outline because remember an outline and visual aid are due with this speech there's also a time limit minimum so i'm giving you an extra week to incorporate all of these aspects into your second main speech now with that being said for this week are a few lessons um, will be posted that go along with this, the technical requirements for the second main speech. So for this week, the lessons are about organization outlining and there is a module just labeled organization and outlining and there like everything else is a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, a video lesson. And then I've also posted a basic student outline to kind of guide you through because when it comes to the world of public speaking, there's multiple outlines. I say that because there's the basic one, which is what I want you to turn into me, but then there's like a, kind of a working one, which you use for yourself for presentation. You can, you don't have to, it's not a requirement, but you can use for when you are presenting. And the working one is just, you have, you know, your topic and then your thesis purpose, which is basically you're clarifying what you're doing with said speech. Then you have your intro, and none of these things have to be long. You do not, I don't want transcriptions of your speech. I don't want a word for word basis of what you are telling me. This is just the jot down, your introduction, your body. And remember, we've discussed before when it comes to the body of speeches, three is a magic number. Less than three, you're not really giving us enough information. And you kind of want to keep it in that three to five range because past five main points, you kind of lose your audience because there's a lot of information to take. And I, completely understand that there are theories, applications, processes, just information out there that's more than five points. It's that choosing to condense it anyway. And then the conclusion, and that's where you just wrap it up really pretty. So in the outline, organization section, PowerPoint presentation, Word document, video previous, previously recorded, video lesson discussing, organization outline, and a basic outline. Then there will also be a module labeled um, visual presentational aids again in it same deal it's a word document a PowerPoint presentation and a previous recorded video lesson discussing how to use presentational video aids have fun get creative but always remember like every other speech I have to see your face in it I can't just see like a screen of you giving a slideshow you need to be incorporated into it as well and then this week I'm also opening up the MLA section which just gives examples and discusses how to properly MLA citation because you will have speeches that require citations, but there's also apps out now, which are magic, that you plug and chug your information. So you can go to apps or sites, put in your information for a citation, and it creates a citation for you. It's wonderful and it's beautiful because your final speech and your third speech will require citations or works cited page along with your outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that opened up so that's there for reference for the remainder of our course. So again, for this week, we're looking over organization outlining and use of visual aids because in your second main speech, technical requirements are an outline, visual aid, and you have a time minimum limit, which is you need to hit at least two and a half to three minutes in the speech. But once you start explaining a process or discussing a process or an application or a theory or how something works, it doesn't take long to hit that. So practice it a few times, you know, allow time for pauses and breaths 
and really make that connection with the process. Again, choose something that you enjoy, that you like, that brings you joy. <laughs> I'm outside, it's getting ready to start raining. I should wrap this up. So look over all of that. And then, like I said, I'm also opening up the MLA citation module. That will be up the remainder of the semester for um, reference as well. And then the module for the second main speech, the how to instructional informative speech is already open. Open that up last week. I sent you an email. I made an announcement. That is not due till midnight of October the 9th. So this is week seven. Week eight is Carter County's fall break. You won't have lessons, but I've extended the due date so you can use that as a working week as well, if needed, for your second main speech. Week nine is ATTC's fall break. We will not have lessons or anything due that week. That is your off week <laughs> from my course, but I will shoot reminders as well. So remember, this week, you don't have anything due. You can turn in your second main speech as soon as you are ready to. It will be up and ready to go. Um, I haven't, I'm working on updating the grade books. I know I said I had that done by Friday, but a lot of life hit last week, folks. And I just didn't make it to upload. I have them recorded. I just don't have them uploaded to Blackboard's grade book yet. So remember, nothing due this week, organization outlining and um, use of visual aids are the lessons this week. Those go along with the technical requirements for the second main speech. Your fall break is next week. You don't have a lesson, but the end of that week is the main due date. So, but you can turn in that speech whenever. All right, folks, I hope you had an amazing homecoming, and I hope you have a fabulous week. Any questions or concerns, please reach out to me, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Bye.